pottery is our state's oldest tradition, dating back thousands of years ago when Native Americans would make pots by coiling and heating clay over fire. And the heart of pottery crafting in this state is the little community of Seagrove, located in Randolph County. It's a beautiful, peaceful destination for a day trip, and the best place to start your journey of discovery here is the North Carolina Pottery Center. Chad Brown turns pots at the North Carolina Pottery Center, just one of the many facets this museum, resource center, workshop, and gateway to Seagrove displays. I've heard it said they should feel empty when you pick it up. Seagrove, a small community in Randolph County, is the beating heart of pottery in North Carolina. Some say the entire country. Uh, during the uh, late 1700s and early 1800s, some folks um, settled in this area, they were primarily farmers, and farming was their primary occupation. It's what they did in the spring, summer, and fall. Now during the winter, uh, they needed something else to do, and uh, some of them turned to pottery and making pots. He said no one had any money. He said there was, there was no money. Chad, a fifth generation potter, remembers uh, a story his grandfather told him about a local trader. He said he would come by and load his wagon with pots. And he'd pack everything in straw, and he'd come back at some point with all kinds of stuff. And, you'd, and they'd trade, they'd, he said it might, it might be a chair, it might be a dog, it might be anything. And you'd take whatever you want off that, off that uh, wagon, depending on what you think it was worth. Today, pottery is the livelihood of hundreds of potters throughout the state, and the North Carolina Pottery Center is a great way for visitors to get oriented to the art form, especially in the Seagrove area. I knew that we had to start somewhere, and these maps are helpful, but to have somebody here in the center to tell you exactly where to find these places, plus you get to see what interests you. You have to take this smorgasbord and break it down and find specific things. We really act as a boosting organization for the entire pottery world that is centered in North Carolina. We uh, have these fabulous exhibitions. We represent the potters of Seagrove. When people come to visit the town, they can check out what's here before going out into the area to go to individual potteries. And we educate all North Carolinians about the wonderful world-class heritage that is uh, our North Carolina pottery tradition. A nonprofit, the Pottery Center relies on memberships and a large gala and auction to continue its mission. The Pottery Center always relies on the benevolence of the people that come to the Pottery Center for support. We also have an annual auction up at uh, Leland Littles in Hillsboro, and we have a core group of ardent supporters who come out and often pick up bargains, uh, but out of their generosity want to help this particular unique institution survive and, and demonstrate all that North Carolina Pottery stands for. The range of expression in modern pottery still reflects its age-old traditions. We live in a virtual world these days, and many people want something that they can touch, something that's real. And there's nothing like clay, there's nothing like the earth uh, to act as a counterbalance to all of that virtual reality. So I think uh, people appreciate pottery more now than ever. The North Carolina Pottery Center is at 233 East Avenue in Seagrove, and they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Their big gala and auction is Saturday, September 9th at Leland Little Auctions in Hillsboro. And the gala is a great place to see and buy some amazing pots from across the state. For more information, visit the center's website at ncpotterycenter.org.